guys, hi students, hi Philippines, and hello world. I'm your teacher Josa. I am your TLE teacher. And naririto tayo ngayon upang i-discuss sa inyo ang isang napaka-importante topic sa TLE Grade 9 Cookery. Gusto niyo bang malaman kung ano ang topic na ito? Later, bago niyo malaman ang topic, Meron muna kayong tatlong guide questions na kailangang sulatin. Bibigyan ko kayo ng dalawang minuto para makopya niyo yung mga guide questions. Wait lang. My dear students, ito na yung tatlong guide questions. So, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng dalawang minuto, ha? Time starts now. My dear students, may idea na ba kayo kung ano ang tap natin sa araw na ito? Sabay-sabay tayo. Our topic for today is about... About ano? Yes, tama. About tools and equipment in preparing dessert. Dessert? Mm. Bago tayo mag sa topic natin, magkakaroon muna tayo ulit ng activity. So, ito ang tinatawag natin preliminary activity. And it is entitled, Name Me. Papakatalan naman ako ng mga pictures kung saan hukulaan niyo sila within 10 seconds kung ano ba yung nasa picture. So, pwedeng Tagalog, pwedeng English. Mas ito lang yung mga um, nakikita niya sa mga bahay niyo. So, let's start. Kukuha ulit tayo ng ball pen at papel. Kayo din ang mag-check ng sarili niyong papel. Be honest. Because God is watching you. Let's start. So, our preliminary activity is entitled Mimi. I will give you 10 seconds. After ng bawat picture, sasagutan na din natin and chechikan nyo na din. Okay? Number one. First picture, we have this. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Time's up. So this one is a baking pan. Number two. Ten seconds again. Time's up. This is a Siyo niyo yung ginagawa niyo, ha? Paul Mandaya. Number three. Ten seconds. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands up. Hindi po ito talanggana. Ito po ay mixing bowl. Number four. Pitching number four. Timer. Times up. Ito ay isang, ano? Range. Next number. Nakakailang tama na kayo. Apat, tatlo, dalawa, isa. Next. Ano kaya itong mga to? Timer. Ito sinang pangakula. Ito ay ang whisk with an S. Next, picture please. Timer. Ito ang naman ang tinatawag natin. Ta-da! Temperature scale. Minkawala kaya na ito. Hmm. 
Next. Ito naman ang... Ito ginagamit sa cheese. So, ito ang tatawag natin. Graters with an S left. Next, picture. Ang tinatawag natin, funnels made of metal. Next, ito kaya. Ano kaya ito naman ito? Mmm, steak, lemon, honey, green peas, onions. So, this is what we call cutting tools made of chopping board or cutting board and a knife. Next, I think this is the last picture. So, one, two, three, four. Apat na. Kaya ito ginagamit. Kaya yung tawag dito. Time's up. This will be the spoons. Last number na nga. Nakailan kaya kayo? Sinong naka-10? Naka-9? 8? 7? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Kapasid na kasi pag medyo mababa na kasi yung iba naman ay ipad familiar na kayo kahit Tagalog, French, or English. My dear students, proceed na tayo sa ating topic discussion. Wala na itong timer. Pagkasensyahan nyo na din pala kung ako ay nagtatagalo. Aglish, kung baga. Sinasabi, if the students uh, don't learn the way you teach, teach the students and the way they learn. Parang ganun. So, sa tingin ko, mas matututo kayo kung kaya ay magtatagalo, aglish. Our topic for today is about tools and equipment in preparing desserts and all of that. I wanted to guess kung ano ang binabanggit sa definition. It's used to measure dry ingredients, liquid ingredients, and a small quantity. One pp. Dry ingredients to ng mga harina. Sugar, the yon liquids, water, small quantity yung mga betchin, asin, no kaya siya, no? Measuring cup and spoon at alam niyo ba kung ano yung ano ng dalawang to? So ito sila, to use for mixing ingredients. It comes in different sizes: small, medium, and large. Ano kaya to? Different sizes. May iba't ibang sizes. Small, medium, large. Just for mixing ingredients. Ano kaya ito? Sino mga kawala? Mixing bowl. Ano kaya ito yun ang mixing bowl? Ito, yung mukhang langgana. Na made of aluminum. Mostly they are made of aluminum. It's just to fill jars and made of various sizes of stainless steel, aluminum, or plastic. Pinagamit daw pang puno ng mga jar and it comes in various sizes. Ano kaya yun? Para ma-prevent yung pagtapon, magsasaling ka kunwari, para daw ma-prevent yung pagtapon ng mga liquid. Ano yun? Yes, it is a funnels or kung tawag natin sa Tagalog na imbudo. And ito siya. Comes in different sizes. Made of plastic, made of aluminum. Next. 
used to measure heat intensity, different thermometers are used for different purposes in food preparation. For meat, can be or to fat crying. Ano kaya to? Used to measure heat intensity. Yung sa tao, thermometers. Para naman kung sa food, ano kaya siya? So, ito ang tinatawag nating temperature scales. At ito ang atsura niya. Kung makikita nyo, yung 27.4, so yun yung kanyang reading. Next, a wooden or plastic board where fruits and vegetables are cut. Kaya yun, wooden or plastic board where fruits and vegetables are cut. Tingin nyo. Cutting board is correct. Cutting board, chopping board, pwede. Pwede kaya dito ang chopping board. Banasagit na. Yung sa side. Or alin? Yes. Siya yung gawa sa wood. Pinagtatagtara natin kung ano-ano. And ang sabi, dapat we have different chopping board para sa mga meat. Separate ang sa meat at separate din ang sa mga vegetables to avoid food or cross-contamination. Next, it is often referred to as cook's or chef's knife used for peeling and slicing fruits, fruits and vegetables. Chef's knife. Peeling and slicing fruits and vegetables. and kaya yun? Hmm? Yes, they are called kitchen knives. And ito yung mga kitchen knife natin. They come in different sizes. So yung mga knife na yan, mayroong iba't ibang tawag sa kanila. Mag-umpisa sa paring knife, may citrus knife, may butcher's knife, may chef's knife, kung ano-ano pa, bread knife, napakadami, napakadami yung uri ng knife. And next, a rubber silicone tools to blend or scrape the food from the bowl, metal, silicone or plastic egg thermos or flippers. Kaya yun, a rubber or silicone tools to blend or scrape. Ito yung pinakangalis sa mga, for example, na gawa ka ng dough at merong kalat sa gilid ng mixing bowl, siya yung inakagapit nyo pang alis. So, so yung pinatawag natin is scraper and this is the example of rubber scraper. Rubber scraper, so siya is malambot. Next, just for whipping eggs or butter and for blending gravy, sauces, and soaps, the beaters are made of loop, steel piano wires, which are twisted together to form the handle. Gawa daw sa wire for whipping eggs or butter. Kaya to. So, this are the whisk. So, whisk. Ito ang tura niya. Whisk. Parang medyo matiba yung nasa gitna. Yung nasa baba is hindi masyado. So, yung example ng whisk, pinagamit siya pang beet or pang bate ng itlog, ng butter, ng ating mga mixture. Next. Use in baking. You cannot bake without it. Ano kaya yun? Hindi tayo makakapag-bake kapag wala ito. Nakala ko yan. Wala niya. Baking powder. Harina. Itlo. Tools nga eh. Ano yun? Baking pan. So, meron tayong we also have different shapes and sizes of baking pans. Ayan. Iba't iba. Merong pang cakes, merong pang muffin, may pang chiffon cake, iba't iba. Merong pang loaf bread. So they are used for, specifically for baking. Next, are necessary in preventing bacterial infections from food. Para doon makaiwas sa, sa bacteria. Equipment to. Try nyo, I guess. So, tama, refrigerators or freezers. Wow, pag ganito yung ref nyo, 
tamang tama sa quarantine days, punong puno ng healthy foods. Refrigerator, two-door refrigerator. Nilalagay daw natin dyan yung food natin para makaiwas sa bacterial infections. Kasi, di ba, malamig yung ref, so napiprevent niya. Naiiwasan na mapanis agad or mabulok agad yung mga pagkain natin. Next, assessment. So, titignan natin kung meron ba kayong natutunan or wala or kung masyado bang mabilis yung pag-discuss natin. For your task ass assessment, kailangan niyo ulit ng papel, ball pen, and mag-review muna kayo ng kaunti. Ano-ano ba yung mga tools sa likod na nabanggit? So, alam niyo na yung itsura, alam niyo na kung saan sila ginagamit. So, prepare na kayo. Ready na kayo sa ating task assessment. Handa na ba ang papel at ball pen? For your task assessment, nag-prepare ako dito ng soft custard na recipe. Itong recipe nga is galing sa module ng grade 9 cookery. To do is to give the following. Number one, what are the ingredients in a soft custard? And number two, what are the tools and equipment used in making this dessert na soft custard? Based lang dito sa recipe na, na, na binigay, sasabihin nyo ano ba yung mga ingredients at ano ba yung mga tools and equipment na ginamit. Okay? So, I will give you five minutes. Pwede na siguro. Tapos na. Five minutes na yun. Kapulog na nga ako dito eh. Let us check your work. Exchange with your seatmate. Oh, wala pa kayong seatmate. Okay. Check your own paper na lang. Honesty is the best policy. Keep the following. Number one, ingredients. Bibili niyo lahat ng ingredients na natagpuan niyo dyan sa recipe na recipe ng soft custard. So these are the ingredients. We have eggs, egg, sugar, tsaka, isang ingredients isang check. Eggs, sugar, milk, whipped cream, and salt to taste. Okay? Tsaka ng ayos. Proceed tayo sa number two. Tools and equipment. Meron tayo saucepan, double broiler, measuring cups, wooden spoon, egg beater, and the spoon for testing. For your assignment, in a full sheet of burnt paper, draw and label the different tools and equipment in preparing the soup. So yan, mas magagaling mag-drawing at short time to shine. Kahit yan na lang tatapos yung ating pag-aaral sa araw na ito. Pag kayo kagawa ng video, don't forget to put the references. So ako, galing sa Google yung mga images ko. And yung content naman is galing sa learning module na Pukiri Grade 9. Again, I'm Ms. Chosa Pino Katangay. Dream, believe, and make it happen. Thank you.